team coverage continues with Greg Argos. And Greg, the members of this church community no doubt are leaning on their faith tonight. And Yuki, that's basically all they can do tonight. This fire so devastating. The three alarm blades breaking out around two o'clock this afternoon and now some nine hours after it started, you can see firefighters still dousing the church with water. A brief hymn sung by the congregants who've gathered, watching their beloved church destroyed. I'm thankful nobody got hurt. Bishop Benjamin Peterson, the leader at Greater Bible Way Temple, stunned after a three alarm fire ravaged the building. He's simply giving thanks no one died. We're thankful and we declare things just got better. The roof burning a little bit. Your video shows what appears to be a worker with a propane tank on the lower level roof. Bishop! Seconds later, with the roof now on fire, the bishop himself can be seen bringing a ladder to that man. The two were then able to get to the ground. Save the church! Within minutes, the first fire trucks arrive, but already some working nearby acting as first responders. It's just sad, man. And to be so close to that and to see that happen like that, unbelievable. Presley Gordy normally sells household goods near the church. He says the rectory next door had been converted to apartments and he helped evacuate those living inside. I ran over there. I told the people to get out. Then I ran inside, tried to get the people out. Someone called me and told me it was on fire, and I just rushed home. Dorothy Thomas is one of the tenants. She's glad no one is hurt, but is concerned for her cat. Praying, yes, because my windows are open. I'm worried about all the smoke. Smoke that engulfed a staple in this West Philly community, maiming what was once a place so many gathered to worship. To see that happen so close is it, it, a tragedy. Tonight, the Red Cross says they're helping out 20 people who've been displaced. I'm live here in West Philadelphia, Greg Argos, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Thank you, Greg. Stay with Eyewitness News as the investigation into what sparked the fire gets underway. When we are not on television, you can always find updates anytime at CBSPhilly.com.